Thank you. Well, thank you, and please sit down. I, I just want to take a few seconds to thank you for your efforts, the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program. As you know, it's not my, wasn't my purpose in coming to Washington to initiate large numbers of new government programs. <laughs> I think some suspected that after a while. But uh, I have to say that the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program is an important exception uh, to that. This is the type of program of which we can all be very proud. Yours is a low budget, a fixed duration program which generates an enormous amount of voluntary action to help some truly needy people in our society. And I'm pleased to learn that you've recruited 1,800 volunteers, created 1,500 jobs opportunities for the unemployed Vietnam vets. A large amount of favorable media attention to this program has been attracted and has done much to destroy what was a very false stereotype. I can't help but wonder if the media had been as helpful while the war was going on and while you were there. There might never have been the stereotype to begin with. The Vietnam vets are not an unemployable, guilt-ridden bunch of dropouts in society. You're showing that Vietnam vets have achieved great success in our society and are willing to help their less fortunate comrades in arms who now need your help. And all of us owe you a debt of both gratitude, uh, your unselfish attitude, and your continuing gift of yourself to your country. And I, for one, and on behalf of the rest of the people in this country, want to, again, repeat a thank you to all of you for what you're doing. And I think, thanks to you, some things that have happened here in Washington just lately around Veterans Day have gone a long way to welcome home those who were not properly welcomed home when that war was called off. I won't say ended. It was called off. And uh, that was part of what was wrong, too. And let me repeat a pledge that I've made before. Uh, as long as I can help it, no one will ever again be asked to fight for their country unless it's for a cause that our country is determined to win. of the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program, this poster, which was uh, designed by George Skypeck, who's a Vietnam veteran and an artist, uh, this poster has been up in virtually every post office in America, and it has the words that uh, you gave us when we started this program in uh, 1981, Mr. President. Thank you for your full support. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. I'm very proud to have this. Now they've told me I gotta go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much.